Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome to Audrey's reading area. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5 p.m. Stop. All right. All right. All right. It is Inspirational Friday here at Audrey's reading area. Inspirational Friday. So instead of a book, I actually have a part of a magazine that I'll be reading to you. The name of the magazine is Adventist Journey, Inspiration and Information for North America, Adventist World. This book, there's a little story in here called Forgiving Papa that I wanted to read to you guys. So there's really no pictures, this little, little picture, and I'll show you that once I finish reading it. So the name of this article is Forgiving Papa. Okay, so it says Memory Gem. Do not be angry with each other, but forgive each other. If someone does wrong to you, then forgive him. Forgive each other because the Lord forgives you. Colossians 3 verse 13. Okay. Junie was just getting ready for bed when his papa's heavy footsteps were thumping up the stairs. Immediately his body began to shake with fear as he quickly crawled under the bed. All of a sudden, he felt a pair of strong hands pull him out from under the bed. Help, help, Junie yelled loudly as he tried to free himself from his papa's hand. Don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. Before Junie could escape, Papa beat him. Don't think you can escape from me, ha ha ha. You're just like your mama, bad woman, bad woman, shouted Papa as he was about to flop over too drunk even to care. You bad boy, bad boy. The next day after Papa's alcohol wore off, he felt bad about beating Junie. He was calm, but Junie was too terrified even to get near him. For two years after Mama left, Junie's father had been drinking himself to death. He thought he could cover up the pain of losing his wife, but the alcohol didn't help. Instead, he beat Junie night after night. Poor boy. Lolo, Lola, please let me come and stay with you, begged Junie. I can't take it anymore. He will kill me soon. You poor boy. We must take you out of your father's hands, said Lolo and Lola adamantly. Junie was grateful spending the rest of his teen years with Lolo and Lola. No more beatings, no more fear, no more injuries and bruises. Years passed and Junie graduated from college. One day his grandparents approached him with a strange request. Junie, we didn't tell you earlier, your papa has been in jail and is very ill. Won't you go and visit him? Asked Lolo and Lola earnestly. What? You want me to visit him? No way. He's not my father. And I don't have a father like him, said Junie angrily. No matter what he has done, he's still your papa. He started drinking only after your mama left, Lolo explained kindly. Do you forgive him? We will be praying for you that God will help you to forgive, Lola said reassuringly, her Bible in her hand. Finally, after months of struggling with himself, the day came for Junie to visit his father in jail. When they met, both father and son hugged each other, sobbing and crying. I'm so sorry, son, for all the hurt I've caused you, cried Papa. I forgive you, Papa. I forgive you wailed Junie with tears streaming down his face. It was indeed a joyful reunion. Forgiveness comes only through Jesus Christ. Now, this reminds me of a personal story, really personal. I'm trying not to tell too much of it, but I had the same little thing happen with me and my father. And um, I stopped speaking to him for years. And um, then when he got pancreatic cancer and and then a stroke and he couldn't speak. I actually did go to see him um, before his last days. And he finally passed away on 9-11, seven years ago. Um, so I have a similar story and that's why this story kind of touched me and I wanted to read it to you guys about forgiveness. I had to forgive him. 
You know, you have to forgive. Otherwise, it burdens you and it hurts you. Maybe for a long time, maybe for the, even for the rest of your life. So I had to forgive. Um, you don't forget, but you do forgive. So just like Junie forgave. And let me show you the picture. It's Junie in his bed. Just like he forgave. There are some people that may do you wrong. Pray to God about it and just forgive. All right, all right, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here at Audrey's Reading Area. Once again, I got a shout out to Sylvia and my mom. Thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me all the time, like all the time. Thank you. I love you guys. All right, all right, all right. Today's Friday. That was my inspirational Friday story. So I will see you again live at five on Monday, live, L-I-V-E, live at five on Monday. See you soon.